Let the flames hit the pot Let the water start boiling Give me that soda that you got Pass the dope and start it cooking That's my junkies on my block Nigga be running everywhere Because the block is full of cuss Give me your money, give me your brain Cough it up or give it a train How many times you nigga wanna see I bust one shot like man Let a nigga know he saying it flow He but that stink and never show Run it up in the attic Get my dope still on the stove Nigga be born in death slow Shot him in the face on my drop Time in the boy, your nigga gonna die for fucking with my cash flow don't fuck with me I said don't fuck with me I this right here man is like everybody know like Jonesboro Road, Jonesboro South, Jonesboro North, you know what I'm saying? One of the hottest spots or one of the hottest spots in Atlanta for 20, 30 years. You know what I'm saying? And I knew about the territory and knew like you know, it was just as tough as College Park or Cleveland Avenue or Stanton Road or anything else. You know what I'm saying? And I knew, which everybody knew, you know, that was like the weed capital. You know what I'm saying? You know, big shots out to Big Kente, all them big homies, man. But um, I said big homie because, you know, do his thing. Um, But everybody knew the, the downside, too. You know, it was a treacherous area. Drug infested, prostitution, robs, robbers, robberies, you know, all type of thing, murders, you know, however, man. You know, uh, John Burr South, John Burr North, uh, anything that's up in that Universal Pride, Street Carver Home, Joy Land, shots out to Joy Land, Carver Home, partner, you know what I'm saying? Done made several trips with the Joy Land back in the day. <laughs> but, um, this morning, this one morning, man, uh, me and my partner, little Tony, shouted, man. Uh, shout. I'm going to say shout, excuse me. That's a whole nother person. But shout, you know, that's um, little Tony, a.k.a. Lil Tony, my buddy, my brother. But um, one morning, he come to scoop me up, man, and hit G-Ride. Now, now, actually, he hit me, and um, I wasn't scooping him up. I was driving. I was in the car. And I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because I had this chick car. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember stuff. <laughs> I used to have it. But um I was in a little Fifth Avenue that we driving. This chick that I was dealing with had a Fifth Avenue man and it was my like really my first time dealing with an older chick that was older than me. I was like nineteen, eighteen or something. And you know, she was in her mid twenties, had kids, and um had a G ride. So, you know, I was using that G ride as much as I could, you know. But me and Lil Tony got together that morning, man, and like, you know, keep it real. That whole hot, you know, that whole story like King Von and how they used to wake up in the morning, get their backpacks and go look for somebody to, to, to gun down from the, the other team, the ops. Me and Lil Tony was similar like that with the robberies. You know what I'm saying? Being like, we going to wake up in the morning, I'm going to get with him, he going to get with me and we going to. You know, scrap up, jump in a G ride, and we gonna go look for a victim. Straight like that, you know what I'm saying? And you know, anybody with that bread, you know, and like I said, we we ain't drop, we ain't robbing nothing but drug dealers, you know what I'm saying? So I go pick him up, we jump in a G ride, and we head to Atlanta and stuff. So I had told him, you know, I want to get some weed, and I smoke all the time, so I'm like, man, I need to get some weed and stuff. So little Tony was like. Excuse me, Latona like, okay, man, she, man, head over here to it on Jonesboro, Jonesboro South, which, you know, Jonesboro Road, so, <laughs> so I'm like, I right, bet, you know what I'm saying, so we go out there, you know, I ain't had them like $10 or something, you know, however, man, you know, I could have got the weed in the hood, but, you know, at the same time, like I said, we on the prowl right now, you know what I'm saying, so we hit Jonesboro Road, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, it's probably like eight in the morning, no more than like 8.30 because the school buses, I remember the school buses holding us up because they, the stop sign coming out, you know, things like that and stuff, man. And um, we didn't actually go up here to get no weed. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we didn't actually go up here to get no weed. I just told him that I needed some. Then, you know, he was like, all right, then he was like, go toward the Jonesboro Road. Go toward the Jonesboro Road. Now, even though 
John Burr Road, that whole John Burr South, all that, the weed capital. Like I said, we wasn't going to get no weed. We were just going, riding, hitting the script, and see if um, somebody, you know, we we finna catch somebody. You know what I'm saying? That was the purpose of us getting together that morning is to go hunt and go on the prowl and look for anybody we can rob. Now, keep in mind, again, we own a raw drug dealer. So, if we go on the Jonesboro Road, that area, what we're looking for is somebody who's out there on the block early in the morning who's serving. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, we hit Jonesboro Road. You know, it's it live out there early that morning. Like I said, school bus is this. People, uh, everybody's going to work, and it's going down. So, when we go down the script, you know what I'm saying? Like, coming from the expressway way, and you're coming down the script that way. Like I took out the um sprayway. Um we see we see you no know, different people. We see different like dealers. You know what I'm saying? Two of them on this side of the block, one over here, one standing there, one just went into the store, and things of that nature, man. So we go down and um we're we gonna hit a U-turn once we get, you know, down further and we're gonna come back through. And we already done seen like Put, you know, some potential um, suspects, you know what I'm saying, to, to knock down. So when we turn around, we start talking about the easiest person at the four different locations where people are at to to, um, to to snatch up. Now, it's, you know, four, they, they had four different spots, like standing on their corner right there by that stove and right there. But each one of those spots where dudes are serving at, it's more than one person right there. See what I'm saying? When never a, like at this spot right here by the stove, him by himself and him by himself. And that's what we're really looking for because this 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 finna be a straight like bang and go. You know what I'm saying? This ain't kicking your door, shut it behind us, we got plenty of time. This ain't that type of party right here. This is bam, handle it, go. We call it a bang and go. You know what I'm saying? And the bang and go are very dangerous because when you do a bang and go, your your eyes and your focus is only on the the person that you robbed. But you out in the area or you doing it in a situation where a lot of things are going on around this isolated situation. So that's why you got to be bam and, and be gone. And you gotta do it quick. That's why I call it bang. And they go. You know what I'm saying? It's a real kind of part south side thing. You know what I'm saying? But um, like I say, it wasn't really nobody by themselves. At the least, we had a guy that was on the sidewalk close to the street serving. Um, and he had a friend a few yards away from, like, we can see that they talking and they really like together. You know what I'm saying? So we like, hey man. We're going to just go ahead and hand up these two homes right here. And then with with them having a few yards separation, we can, we're can going to isolate this one and just get him. You know what I'm saying? You know, whatever you got, a few hundred dollars, weed, crack, whatever you got, powder, we're going to take it off. You know what I'm saying? So, so we pull up on him and he said, what's what, what going on, man? I need some weed. So we let him talk first so we can see what he has. You know what I'm saying? So when he said that, we like, yeah. So once he do that, once he do that, uh, he 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 comes to the call with me. Once he say that, once he say, man, what y'all need? Y'all need some weed? Like that right there. Uh, we said, yeah. So then he come up to the car and he, he pulls out his bag and he leans over into the car. You know what I'm saying? And when he do that, my partner just up the iron on a little tone, just up the iron and grabbed him. He said, don't even, don't, don't even do it. Just drop it right here. Drop it right here. And when he doing that, you know, I'm on the wheel. I'm waiting. You know, I want to, you know, because you, know, you can't see. I'm focused on what's going on behind me. You know what I'm saying? And because I didn't know exactly how it was going to go. The dude going to get in the car. going to start the winner. But like that, we just, you know, bang and go. It's, it's, it's no rules. It's no plan. It's none of that. So once he grabbed him and pulled him into the winner a little bit and got the pistol on him, making him drop everything in the car, on the floor, in the seat, everywhere, just drop it right now. 
I remember little Tony head looking back while he got him drop it. Don't do it. Drop, drop everything right here. Right now. Right now. And then he looked back. When he looking back, he looking back like like um through the through the um back window. Like that's the way he looking. He looking back through the back window. And when I when I hear him, when he looking back, I hear him say, Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna shoot him. Don't do it. And when I look back, I noticed that his partner, dude who we robbing a snack, had in the car. His partner done pulled out the four five on us. Like pointing at the car. We broad day like early in the morning. Everybody out there, man. And I heard my partner say, Don't do it. Let's say, Don't do it. I'm gonna shoot him. Don't do it. So hold this shoot. After the old boy get through giving everything, man, shit, man, I don't got that enough, man, I don't got that enough. Like that, gave me money out of pocket and everything. The Tony pushed him. The Tony pushed him. Like, I know, the rest of his body out the window. And I just stomped it. Ah, Put it off in that fifth half. Dude behind us, the partner, just opened up fire on the car. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. Ah, ah. <laughs> Boy, them folk don't play on John Burr. Boy, them folk don't play on John Burr Road. I'm telling y'all that them coming from OG Black Bart, man. That man opened up, man. That man hit by five, six shots to the car, man. Dead serious, man. And none of it that back one of thing good because it didn't come in that way. But, man, they were hitting the side of the car, the back bumper, all the trunk, all that, man. Ain't coming through. Coming through to the back seat and everything. Stop right now. It's real talk, man. Them folk don't play on John Burr. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in, man, to another great episode of Underground Source TV with your host, TV and film producer, Dantrees Knox, OG Black Boy, 3700, YouTube Music. Check out my playlist. Check out my memberships, man. I told you, y'all, I got some good perks for y'all. Y'all sign up for my membership, man. Y'all gonna get some great perks, man. Y'all can book me, man. I come out to uh, events, man. Any events, man, I hang out with y'all, man. Uh, I sit there with the crowd, man. I just did it last week, man, for, to my people in Oklahoma, man. I sit there, man. They had a big party, man. And I um, I tell a story, man. I just entertain everybody, man. Ain't no boom, 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 boom. I do walkthroughs, um, um, features. Like I say, extras. Man, I come out there and I do it, man. So y'all check it out. Check out some of my perks. Y'all can book me to come out, man. Uh, check out my YouTube shops. College Park. Nigga don't fuck with me, you fuck with me, you gonna get shy And a nigga who kill my brother, I'ma kill his ass, just look at why When you wanna meet your maker, I'm your take her, let me know Got a drink old daddy, first and burn your ass and bust your hoe So don't fuck with me, no I said don't fuck with me Don't fuck with me you better not fuck with me. Nigga wanna get some good bad, nigga wanna fuck my hoe. How many times I got you there, I'm married to my club. But I had a little side bitch, that side bitch didn't know the road. And that fine little side bitch, I had to let that bitch go. Never forget the things I said, you end up dead or in the bed. Go fuck around with OG, you get that Draco to your head. So don't fuck with me. I said don't fuck with me. Nigga wanna, nigga wanna, nigga wanna, nigga wanna, nigga wanna, nigga wanna, nigga wanna.